welcome back to another video guys we have so many new subscribers thank you guys so much for choosing to be a part of my channel we have over 500 subscribers i'm so happy about that and to all my seasoned subscribers thank you guys so much for being such a loyal sport okay guys so today's video is just a simple wash day and i decided to share it with you guys so before we get into this video just go ahead and smash that like button share out the video with everyone that you know yes your family your friend your foe everybody okay and you already know how to interact with your girl by commenting in the comment section below and turn your post notifications on so you will not miss out on my videos just by clicking that bell okay now guys today with the whole wash day I know a lot of guys, a lot of you probably didn't think that I have such a big puff because I wear so many protective style. I'm always in a wig or braid my hair or something. I hardly wear my hair out like this, okay? So I am going to just share some tips with you guys on how I maintain a healthy hair because it wasn't all like this before. Well, see, when I was younger, it was thick and it had length and it had width. Yes, I had all of that, but then I messed it up um, by putting chemical in my hair and straightening it and that went downhill for me. And now I'm back on this natural journey and it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good, guys. So I'm going to share some tips as well as I'm gonna share two products that I use in my hair, but you guys have to stay with me on this video until I do my wash and get back. Then I'll share the two products that I use in my hair. But guys, so I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything about hair because I do not know everything about hair, um, but I'm gonna share what I know with you. Um, also, I don't know my hair type, I don't even think that's important because it's not that easy just looking at a chart and saying, oh, I have type C, type A, type B. No, because my hair up here is going on with a bag of things, okay? A lot of things is going on up here. I have different curl patterns, different texture in certain parts, so it's not that easy for me. And, you know, a lot of black girls could be in the room and you have different curls, different texture, everything, but we all pop in. Mm -hmm. we all pop in so let me share what i believe is very important to know especially you know for when you're doing your hair regimen so i think hair porosity hair density and also not not so much the um curl patterns but the width of your hair so i'm going to tell you guys why i believe those Three things are very important to having and maintaining a healthy hair, okay? So some persons might be like, what? What is hair porosity? Yes, guys, hair porosity is how your hair holds moisture. And there are actually two tests that you can do. Um, I've only done one of these tests. Yes, guys, I'm still um, sporting my Pamu Slide Mini wireless earbuds. If you haven't seen this, you need to check out my previous video. I will leave the card here so you guys can check that out. They're still going strong. I use them in the shower and they're still holding up. Back to this hair, this big puff. Okay, so hair porosity is how your hair um, holds moisture. You know, some persons might have um, heat damage and your hair might not be able to hold the moisture um, well. So you can test how your hair holds moisture. So you can get um, three glasses of water. I'm just going to leave um, the picture here so you guys can have an understanding. But you can get three glasses of water, um, take a few strands of your hair and drop them in there. And you will know by if it floats, if it um, goes all the way to the bottom or if it's in the middle, you will know, and I will leave all the information also in the description below. Then we have hair density, and hair density is pretty much, and this is not like, oh, 
um, looking at somebody and looking at their thickness or their length. No, I used to um, think that's how it worked, but after doing some research, that's not how it works. So it's closely, it's looking how closely your hair is packed together. And for me, I think I have very good density because you can't really see my scalp. I would have to go like this for you to really see it. It's pretty packed. So I have, I believe I have a good density. Um, and the next, the third and final one is the width of your hair. Not the length. I'm not going to talk about the length because we all know what length is. Okay, some people have this. Some people have shoulder length. Some people have breast length, waist length. We ain't finna talk about that today. <laughs> and my hair, my hair length, just to give you guys a quick view, this is my hair length. So as far as the width, the width plays a major role in your hair growth and how healthy your hair is. So I'm going to also leave that here. So guys, you can do your research on those three vital roles in having a good hair hair a healthy hair okay i'm going to leave it in the description and if you want me to go in depth then comment in the comment section below and i will do a separate video about that and leave all the information for you guys okay so i am going to go jump in the shower do my wash and then i'm come out and share with you my two products that helps me to keep a healthy hair a thick healthy healthy here so i will keep you guys posted do not go anywhere because you will miss out on this and i know all of us including the males who grow their hair all of us want to have a healthy hair i am back that felt so good guys I finished washing my hair and now it's time to share with you the two products that I use in my hair to keep it healthy so before I introduce these two products I just want to make it clear that not every product is going to um, work for everyone because we all have different um, hair porosity we have different hair density with right we have different ear types so not everything will work for everyone you know just like um some persons might have allergic reaction to tomatoes or you know something and another person might not that's how the hair works so based on your porosity level based on your your width and your hair density your hair might take to certain products um, better than what my hair or someone else hair might take to it okay so some persons might be able to use heavy products um, and some might not be able to but these this product that I'm going to be sharing with you um, has been tested and is used for a variety of hair type so it might just work so guys this is what i currently use in my hair um, i used to use the natural castor oil homemade jamaican black castor oil i normally use that in my hair um, it makes my hair very very thick so i've actually cut down on that and i'm using this product it was introduced to me by my sister and it's called wild growth So we have the wild growth hair oil and we have the wild growth light oil moisturizer so these are my two favorite product now i remember when my hair my um like the edges i had no edges i remember when i had no edges guys like because i used to braid my hair so often doing protective styles and all that it tore my hair lining out i had no edges so um i 
started, my sister introduced it to me because someone told her about it. And I started using this one. And it did wonders. Look, your girl got hedges for days. She got hedges, okay? <laughs> so, um, this is very good. I can tell you um, from first hand experience this is very good um, it could be used on your skin your lashes your brows um, it could be used for a variety of stuff and also males can use this on their beard all that luscious beard that you guys want to have that healthy beard you can choose to try these products out okay so I'm going to tell you what it contains. So it contains coconut oil, olive oil, um, cocoa butter, pomegranate, rose hip, pumpkin seed, extracts of mushroom, chickpea, lentil, cocoa mass, sesame seed. It has a variety of essential oils in it. So it's very good for um growing your hair is good so if like sometimes for me what i normally do when i wash my hair not all the time though when i wash my hair maybe once in a while i will use my blow dryer and kind of blow my hair out give it a full blow out so i would normally use the oil it protects it from heat damage so it's very good so it says here for real thicker and longer hair growth effective when effective even with only a few drops to the scalp light and slick for glide through um, grooming without breakage it's so this is very good you can check this out i will leave the link in the description below where you can get it and it's very affordable like for these two bottles i paid um i think around 16 dollars for these two bottles and you have the light oil moisturizer and you have the hair oil so you can choose to use whichever doesn't matter uh, you can use them interchangeable you can use them together i am about to go and use these now so guys research your hair type um research the porosity the density and the width of your hair to know what products to use in your hair regimen to get your hair your hair healthy full luscious so guys this is my ear tip these are the products that i'm currently using in my hair and if you like this video if you want a healthy hair please go ahead and share this video out like comment subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel Thank you guys so much for being a part of the beautiful Escape XOXO journey. I can't wait to see you in my next video. And guys, remember to follow me on social media, beautiful underscore Escape XOXO, my business page at Bold Attires on Instagram and Facebook. Also, if you want to contact me, you can also email me and I will leave the links all below, all the details in the description. Thank you guys. And bye. <laughs>